The ACLU is at it again. This time they are going after a that's praised before it's needed. Well, the Virginia chapter of the ACLU wants the Board of Supervisors in Pennsylvania County to stop the invocation for the meeting. But all seven members say they will continue the tradition, which dates back to 1767. Long time. Yeah. Well, our guest, Tim Barber, is the chairman of the Pennsylvania County Board of Supervisors. Good to have you with us, Tim. Good morning, Good morning. All right, tell us what happened. You get this complaint. There's seven members on the board, and all of you agree that prayer is fine for these meetings. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. We got an email uh, from them on the 16th of August saying that we should no longer pray before the meeting. Something they've done, like they've gone out since 1767. And I talked to the members of our board before the meeting, and it was unanimous. They wanted to continue to do it. So I was proud the board taking a united stand like this, and the community well behind us on this. Sure. Tim, here's, here's what the ACLU said. They said, quote, the government should never use its power to promote one religion over others. That is why the first clause of the First Amendment prohibits the government from establishing religion and why the courts have made it clear that formal prayers at legislative meetings must be broad and inclusive rather than focusing on a particular religion. But weren't you having these prayers before the official meeting started? Yes, at the beginning of the meeting. And, I mean, at some point in time, you have to say enough, enough to make a fan and use common sense. I mean, it's common sense. Nobody complains. Sure. And, and Tim, even though the ACLU said don't do it, what did you do after you got the email? Oh, like I said, I consulted my board, and, and I, it was unanimous. They wanted to pray, so, so we prayed. <laughs> Instead of us instead of us changing what we do, they need to change the laws and make it make common sense. It goes back to what the country founded on. This has been going for years. Mm -hmm. the, the government needs to stand up for the American people and do what's right, use common sense, and have guts enough to back us up. This sure. is a silent majority right here speaking. Mm -hmm. Now, Tim, are you worried about the consequences? Uh, not, it, not at this point. We, we've had a bunch of attorney firms voluntarily say they would represent us at no charge to the county so it won't cost the county taxpayers money. So we're just kind of the thing. We're going to keep doing what we're doing, wait to see what happens. Well, you, talk about, their responses. you talk about taxpayers. The person who complained, I assume, is a taxpayer paying for um, these meetings to exist. Now, the flip side of it, they're probably thinking you need to have respect for their religion. If they don't want you to pray in their taxpayers, then why are you going to continue to pray? What's your response to that? Well, they never really actually told us who complained, so yeah. we don't know. They just said they had got one complaint, but I mean, they did told the mayor 90% of the people support us, so it's, 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 it's yeah. sense to me. You go into a little small group, so you can't do something that the vast majority of us to do. Yeah, I know. Hey, uh, Tim, you know, they start each and every uh, session of the U.S. Congress with a prayer, so uh, what you're doing is not that different. All right, uh, Tim Barber, joining us today from North Carolina. Thank you, sir.